From watching our other videos and exploring our zombie white site, you've learned that tiny flies are parasitizing honeybees, laying their eggs inside of them. The infected honeybees act strangely, are attracted to lights at night, gathering beneath them in the morning, and staggering around like zombie bees. When you've found suspicious bees, take pictures of the bees with a smartphone or a digital camera. Put them in a resealable container, but be careful. Use tweezers. Zombie bees can still sting you. You can use plastic baggies, plastic containers, or bottles. You'll need one container for each location where you find potential zombie bees. It's good practice to cover the top of your container with netting or plug it with cotton. This will allow airflow circulation and prevent mold from forming inside. Now what's next? Report what you observe. First, log on to our website. If you have an account, log in. If you don't have an account, click on Join the Project and enter your information. All of your information will remain confidential. We'll only report the zip codes of locations of your samples on our website. For each of your samples, upload photos of the bees and describe what you observe with each sample. A sample is the bees that you gather in one specific location at a specific time. If you collect honeybees under a lamp one morning and find other honeybees at different locations, say, the sidewalk, don't mix them up. For every sample, you'll click on Create a New Sample and record your information. Now it's time to wait and watch the bees. Check them once a day to see if anything has changed. If you've gathered zombie bees, then in five to seven days, this is what you might see. Larvae emerging from the neck of the bee or around its thorax. Kind of gruesome, huh? Or you might not be lucky enough to catch those larvae emerging from the bee and instead find tiny brown pupae in your container. If you have collected zombie bees then, in three to four weeks, tiny flies will emerge. Now don't forget, complete all the steps take pictures at each stage, upload them to our site, and tell us what you see. Click on save at each stage. Once you've completed entering all the information for your sample, click the submit button and we'll evaluate your sample. Whether you found zombie bees or not, we need to know. It's just as important to know where zombie bees were not found. If you did not get larvae or pupae coming out of your bees within four weeks, please complete your record. On our site, you should enter zeros for the number of pupae and flies, and then click the submit button. We'll add your information to our map and our website, reporting only your general location. Your personal information will remain confidential. We're counting on you to help us track the spread of this parasite that's potentially endangering the lives of honeybees. From all of us at the Zombie Watch team, thank you.